the PPMT function is used to calculate the principal portion of a loan payment for a given period based on a constant interest rate and payment schedule. Here is the syntax of the PPMT function. Rate, interest rate for the loan can be provided as percentage or a decimal number. NPER, total number of payment periods for the loan. PER, payment period should be between 1 and NPER value total number of periods. PV, the present value of a loan is the amount originally borrowed also called the principal. FV, the future value that is the balance after the last payment is made. If omitted, it is assumed to be zero. Type indicates when the payments are due. Zero are omitted. Payments are due at the end of each period. One payments are due at the beginning of each period. For example, an amount of dollar twenty five thousand is borrowed for three years with an annual interest rate of nine percent, and annual payments are made at the end of each period. This formula calculates the principal portion of a loan payment for period one. The principal is returned as a negative number because it is an outgoing payment. By default, the currency format is applied to the result with the negative numbers highlighted in red and enclosed in parentheses. If you prefer to have the result as a positive number, then put a minus sign before the PV argument loan amount. PPMT formula throws pound num error if the period argument is out of the range. It can be from one to total number of periods. For example, the total number of periods in this case is three. If four is used as period, PPMT throws an error. If the cash balance after the last payment is five thousand, use this formula to calculate the annual payments. Pass five thousand as PV. When calculating the principal amount for different payment frequencies, be consistent with the rate and total number of payments (NPER). For rate, divide the annual interest rate by number of payments per year. For total number of periods, multiply the number of years by the number of payments per year. If monthly payments are made on the same loan, use this formula. For rate, divide annual interest rate by twelve, and for total number of periods, multiply years by twelve. You can use the PPMT function to calculate the principal portion of the payments of the loan for different payment periods. Enter the period numbers in column A. Use the PMT function to calculate the total payment per period. Use this formula. Use absolute references for all the cells. Copy the formula down. Payment is same for all the periods. To calculate the principal part of the payment, use the PPMT function. Use this formula. Rate annual interest rate by number of payments per year. PER payment period number in A two. NPER years multiplied by the number of payments per year. PV loan amount. FV omitted since zero balance after the last payment. type omitted because payments are due at the end of each period use absolute cell references in all the arguments except period number to copy the formula down the function returns the principal portion of the payment copy the formula down notice that total payment is same for all the periods The principal portion increases with each period because initially more interest is paid than principal. Use the sum function to add all the principal portions. It should be equal to the loan amount. The principal amount of an investment earns interest because of compounding. The interest earned is added back to the principal balance. PPMT function calculates the principal amount in a period. PPMT function calculates the principal amount during quarters one to twelve of an investment, which increases from zero to dollar seventy five thousand over a period of three years. Interest is paid at a rate of five percent per year 
and the payment into the investment is to be made at the end of each quarter. Use the PMT function to calculate the total payment per period. Use PPMT function to calculate the principal of the investment. Use this formula. Payment value is entered as zero. Pass FE future value as 75,000. Type is omitted as payments are made at the end of each quarter. Principal amount in period one is returned. Copy the formula down. Notice that the principal amount increases with periods. Sum of principal amount equals the future value of the investment. To download practice Excel file, please click on the link in the description. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.